outside. It's about 5.30 a.m. Time to get ready for work. It's 5.30 and I'm out of <laughs> Okay, it's time to get ready for work. So the downside to having a duffel bag is the fact that, you know, you carry it on your side. Fortunately, it does have this shoulder strap that I can adjust, so then it fits me a lot better. But being a blind person who uses a cane, um, I'm already having one hand outstretched in front of me. Um, so having another bag on my side, it just makes it a little bit more difficult to navigate because not only do I have to account for my body, but I have to account for my bag when I'm using my cane, making sure it's not knocking into things or knocking into people. But for the time being, I'll load this up. So I have here a couple shirts. One is gonna be for when I work out. The other will be for when I'm walking home. The gym's only about six or seven blocks from my house. I also got a pair of shorts that I'm gonna use to work out. I will also throw in my refillable hydro flask. It's a navy blue with a sports top. Finally for tonight, I'll throw in these, this old pair of Sony headphones I got during a white elephant. These are also, these are, have also been worn down. I think I'll be due for an upgrade pretty soon, but they get the job done for when I'm on the treadmill or hitting the Stairmaster. I'll just let my gym shoes air out in the garage and I will throw those in. So this is the bag that I take with me to work every morning and it's a Victoria's Secret gym bag but I have honestly been using it as a weekender bag um, and now have just started recently using it as an actual gym bag. I take this every day with me because I usually get to my office at around 6 to 6.30. That office has a gym, so I go in and work out there and then I wash up and get ready for work. What's really nice about this bag is that it's already pre-packed with my absolute necessities and all I need to do is just put in the outfit that I'm going to be wearing for work that day. So I'll show you what's already inside here. I like to keep a hairbrush, my glasses case, a beauty kit that has uh, stuff like uh, nail file, tweezers, scissors. Then I also have a shower bag. This contains products like shampoo, conditioner, and body wash so that's all in this little bag then in this huge <laughs> not really huge but bigger canvas bag this contains all of my makeup products like moisturizer a palette and also my little mini makeup bag that has all my brushes as well as smaller makeup products i also like to pack my water bottle because of course it's a gym necessity for when you're working out i'm going to lay out my gym clothes next to it that's usually what i do at least the night before but since i waited till the last minute this morning i'm going to be just getting dressed and just getting all my clothes together all right so after i am done with my shower getting dressed um it's time to work on the hair i start off by combing it out a little bit i just have this black comb i have this sea salt hairspray that i got from uh, Pete and Pedro just starting it out seeing how it works lately when I've been using it it's worked with keeping some texture and volume in my hair so that's pretty nice and I'm also using this hair putty by Paul Mitchell um, it's their reformer I'm using this for now and I also have you know, the trusty hair dryer uh, pretty standard kind of want to look into getting an upgrade with that so time to do my hair So I usually leave the house by about six o'clock and it takes me about an hour and a half. I carpool to the Warm Springs BART station, which cuts about half an hour to 45 minutes off of my commute. So going to work is just a straight shot on BART. Our office is just above the Ashby BART station. Even though I live in the suburbs and transportation is very limited, I'm lucky enough to have a very short commute. My office is actually a 10 minute drive away from my house, so my dad drops me off at the office every day. Wanna say hi to my vlog, daddy? Uh, no. <laughs> 6.30 a.m. I'm just getting here to my office. 
I usually work out at this time, so just, we have to go on through the side. And here is the health club. This is my in-office gym. Such a luxury to have this. All right, that was a good workout. It's about 7.35, so it's time to head out and get ready for work. All right, it's about 7.45, just got to the office. I usually get here anywhere from 7.30, 7.45. I'm always the first one here, so I'm usually the one turning on the lights, making sure everything's good. Time to make my coffee, make my breakfast, get the day started. All right, so it is time for breakfast, and I'm not usually much of a breakfast person. I tend to keep it light, um, so I'm gonna, you know, have my two hard-boiled eggs. I'm gonna have this chocolate croissant thing from Costco, and then uh, I got my cup of black coffee and my hydro flask-ish type bottle, 32 ounce. I try to go through about two or three of these while I'm at work, so. Let's see. So my office is on the third floor. Let's get going. Alrighty, so I just got at my desk. I got some breakfast here that I am in desperate need of. And I'm going to go ahead and start off my day by checking off some emails. Oh, I need to put on some lipstick too because this look is not cute. This is just a time lapse of me working, trying to be productive, you know. But to be honest, this is what I look like throughout the whole day. I'm sitting at my desk working at my computer. I work at a wealth management firm. And if you don't know what that is, it's a place where financial advisors advise their clients on how to manage their finances and make their investments grow. So I'm the administrative assistant for advisors here and I process the paperwork to facilitate transactions and i'm also the receptionist to answer calls greet people as they come in you know the fun stuff so people ask me what it is i do for work and so my title is assistive technology specialist and i work with the center for independent living or the cil here in berkeley as of late i've been trying to do a lot of outreach for our disability awareness trainings so we really try to focus on demystifying the disability community all these assumptions and concerns that people may have really trying to bridge the gap between people with and without disabilities so i'm reaching out to a lot of different companies trying to bring our training to their location so if you work for a company and you guys might be interested don't be afraid to hit your boy up Another thing I do is I help people try to find devices that will help them through their day, whether it's for work, for the personal life, for you know leisure activities. Um, there's a lot of different devices ranging from mobility devices to visual aids to uh, hearing devices, communication devices, all different types of things that address all different aspects of life. Um, so I try to help people navigate through this big field of technology and try to find ways so that they can one try out the device to make sure it's the one for them but also try to obtain it so then they could use it in their daily life so here are a couple of devices that i work with this one here is a power chair something similar to a power chair it is by a company called will essentially it works like a power chair called a personal electric vehicle and the nice thing about it is that it's easy to use, breaks down into three pieces um, for easy storage. And over here we have a more lightweight manual chair. This one's made out of carbon fiber, definitely um, something that people like to use. And over here we have some options for video magnifiers. These help people with visual impairments, so rather than just using a magnifying glass, it uses a computer monitor type of screen. These are just a couple of the options that I have here to show people some of the options that can help them throughout their day. So I wanted to show you this little guy that I just got. It's a form of assistive technology that I just got as a job accommodation from my Department of Rehabilitation counselor. It is a CCTV, which is a standard video magnifier. It does have bells and whistles. It's like an iPad. 
but it's blown up into this really cool device. One of the features that I just experimented with yesterday was the OCR feature. So I'm able to take a picture of this document and then I'm able to enlarge it and draw on it. So that's what I did with the spreadsheet yesterday because I had to check off account numbers and it honestly was a time saver. So I'm extremely thankful for my DOR counselor. Uh, so thank you so much to Anna Christina for being the best DOR counselor ever. I'm excited to be using both of these. These are going to make my job a lot easier. Time for first lunch. First lunch? It's first lunch, yeah. brown rice and meatloaf. Uh, yeah. My current workspace vibe after lunch, chilling out with a smoothie from Rush Bowl. Actually, I had an acai bowl earlier. Okay. No one has to know. This is lunch. Kind of made a mess, <laughs> but I'm just gonna. Oh, look at that steam, man. Yeah, we're getting bougie. We're pouring our frozen lunch into a bowl. I think I burned it a little bit. And I'm gonna clean that up right now. Coming home, I don't carpool, so I take the BART all the way to the Warm Springs Station, take a couple buses, and my commute home usually takes about two hours, two hours and 15 minutes, um, but I go straight to the gym, so it's a long day still after work. All right, so it's about like 5.30 now, finally here at the Warm Springs Station. It took me about an hour to get here. Still got a little over an hour to go before I get to the gym. Living in the suburbs does require me to have a ride. Since I'm not able to drive in wherever I live, I actually have to schedule for someone to pick me up every day. So usually it's my mom or my dad. Today, I actually get out an hour early, decided to stay later and get out at four. Unfortunately, because life happens, um, my ride isn't getting here until a little later. It is now 4.30, four. But it is what it is, it's okay. I'm just glad that I have a ride. All right, so it's gym time, 7.05. It's usually about what time I get here, 7.05 to 7.30. Just getting back into my routine, so I'm just gonna be doing cardio. Just, you know, just kind of getting more consistent with the gym. Uh, so I'm gonna hook up my headphones, just doing a quick warm-up walk right now for a couple minutes. I'm gonna plug in my headphones, start listening to my audiobook. Right now I'm listening to Think and Grow Rich and I'll be on here for about 45 minutes. All right, after my gym session and cleaning up, it's time to eat dinner. I got quite a bit of brown rice here and I'm gonna be throwing some sriracha on that. Got a big old bottle. Uh, we got our pork chop and a veggie lumpia here. And I keep my hydro flask, one of my hydro flasks at home. This one's about a 20 ounce. Gotta stay hydrated wherever you go. So let's dig in. All right, just got home. Time to get ready for bed, shower up, brush my teeth, do all of that jazz. But yeah, that's my day. So usually after work, I'll be editing for a couple hours and then we'll have dinner with the family at the dinner table. So I didn't record that because I usually don't like to take my phone to the dinner table. But after dinner, I'll go ahead and edit some more, or if I'm not editing, I'll watch some Netflix. And that concludes my day. I hope you guys like this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you think. Let us know what your daily routine is, if you have one. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye!